Hello everyone, welcome to the Scribes Fedora 24 KDE Speech Weeks. So there's just a few things that I usually do to my system to make it much faster, or at least to me it feels much faster. Obviously if you want a screaming fast machine, you're going to need to have great graphics, have great CPU, and have a lot of memory. <clears throat> if you have all of those elements, then you're going to be going pretty fast all the time. If you turn off pretty much all of your effects to your computer, that also will help you reach much, much faster speeds. But the bad coin on that is in you have a really stale desktop with no bells and whistles. Now, most people like to have a little bit of both. We like to have our bells and whistles, but we also don't want to be super slow. So the first thing that I'm recommending for speed is kind of a double-edged sword. So what it is, if you open up your terminal, type in sudo dnf install preload. Put in your password. <clears throat> and this will install preload. As you can see on my system, I already have preloaded installed. So what preload does is it basically keeps the libraries loaded into memory. So if I run Chrome right now, if I run Google Chrome right now, it's going to take it a little bit for it to load up. <clears throat> so it's loading all the libraries from scratch, it's loading everything that has to do with the system is loading up from scratch so it took a nice little while for this to open up so now if I close this and since it's already preloaded if I just hit Chrome again it's going to boot up way faster so I know that that was very easy for you guys to see the difference the problem with that though is since it's preloaded into memory it's going to be using your RAM. So even though you're not actually using Google Chrome, the libraries are still in memory. So if you don't have a lot of RAM on your system, it's going to kind of clog you up a little bit and make things much slower. That is tweak number one. The second tweak, and pretty much any distribution can use preload, pretty much any distribution can use this next tweak, so swappiness and VFS cache pressure. So if you change directory, you go to slash etc, you can do sudo kate if you have kate installed, kwrite if you don't have kwrite installed, and you're going to type in sysctl dot, dot conf. Of course it would help if I could type at the moment. <clears throat> So in this file is where you can change your swappiness, and your swappiness is when you're running out of memory, your computer will automatically start using your hard drive as virtual memory. So if you want swappiness, if you, if you feel like your system keeps using swap even though it's got memory, then you want to decrease your swappiness. Your swap by default is set at 60. So if you go into sysctl.conf, you just vm.swappiness equals 10. So your swappiness value kind of depends on your memory. I don't use swappiness on my, my personal device because my swap never gets touched. I've had widgets, I've had conky that just sat up here and just watched swap. It, for me, it never gets touched. I have about 8 gigs of memory and I just haven't ever seen it actually use swap. Some people, if you have lower memory, it'll use swap instead of using your RAM. Um, you can play with this number. There's no magic number. Some people say to use one, some people say to use 10. Uh, it's kind of one of those things where you just have to test it out. So if you do that, then VFS cache pressure. So to my understanding, and I'll tell you, I, I couldn't misunderstand this completely, but to my understanding, what VFS cache pressure does 
is it basically tells your system to look for RAM that's unused more often. So if you don't have this line in there, if this line were gone, then it would, at whatever the normal rate is, it would look for any RAM that needed to be recycled. If you have this in here, it reduces it that time by about half. So that way, if you have stuff sitting in RAM, it's going to um, recycle it quicker. So when you set these values, you either have to uh, restart your SysCTL or you can just reboot your computer. So I would just say reboot, reboot your computer. So I'm going to discard these changes. So if I had changed it, I would just do a sudo reboot and reboot. The third main tweak that I usually do is if you go into your system settings, first go down to display and monitor, go to your compositor. So for compositor, change your animation speed to instant and change your scale method from it's normally set, I think accurate, I think is what it's always set at. And see they're accurate or smooth, but drop it down to crisp and apply those settings. And then we're going to go to desktop behavior under desktop effects. And we'll scroll down. I always turn blur off. I know there was a tutorial that said if you go to your settings and just decrease it to the lowest blur setting. Um, but I pretty much, I don't even notice blur being on or off. Um, we'll go down here to translucency, turn the translucency off. And then at the very bottom, resize window. So it resizes window with a fast texture scale instead of updating contents. So those are the three effects that I turn off or on. If you want a faster machine, you could turn off all of these effects or you could go back to the compositor and if you change the back into X render you won't have any effects at all so it would make it very fast with the system not trying to make the effects one last tweak and it's a tweak that I don't ever use is if you hit alt F2 you have your K runner up top if you go into your settings and if you uncheck some of these plugins not having all of those plugins also helps make the machine run a little bit faster personally this is one that I don't do anymore I haven't done it since uh, KDE 4 because it's nice to be able to hit alt F2 and just type in a person's name uh, just type in a person's name and it'll bring up their contacts and it'll go right into the messenger uh, especially if you have your messenger logged on at the time. But those are my personal KDE speed tweaks. Thank you.